It's become a trend across the U.S., organized retail crimes. And we're learning an Ulta store in Kirkland was recently at the center of a similar break-in. Good evening. Glad to have you with us tonight. I'm Greg Copeland. That store that was hit in the Totem Lake neighborhood. Uh, King 5's Natalie Swaby is in Kirkland with what investigators are now saying. According to the police report, three males worked together and targeted the store here in Kirkland on New Year's Eve. Now that kind of organized retail crime is nothing new, but the retail industry says it's a growing issue. Crowds smashing and grabbing their way through stores in California just before the holidays. It's one example of organized retail crime that's been an issue in a number of cities, including Kirkland. At this Ulta Beauty, according to this police report, it happened on New Year's Eve. Three males wearing face masks loaded up bags with thousands of dollars worth of merchandise before getting away in a red Toyota sedan. They're not spur of the moment, but they can spark up like a flash mob uh, quite quickly and then they can disperse just as rapidly. Scott Decker, an emeritus professor who worked in the School of Criminology and Criminal Justice at Arizona State University, has studied these kinds of crimes. And he says, in some instances, before crowds move in, they connect online. And uh, typically not on the mainstream social networking sites, but on one of the many smaller uh, niche uh, forms of communication that exist. Because of the nature of these events, uh, they spark up pretty quickly. The people involved don't know each other very well. Uh, and, and individuals go their own way in disposing uh, of the goods. In 2020, the National Retail Federation, the industry's largest trade group, did conduct a survey asking 61 retailers about their experience over the past 12 months. The results, three in four retailers reported an increase in organized retail crime. Last month, 20 retail leaders sent a letter to Congress highlighting their concerns over the recent wave of robberies, and they're calling on Congress to pass legislation that would make it more difficult for criminals to resell the stolen merchandise, especially online. Police are investigating what happened. Managers at the Ulta Beauty said they could not comment, and so far, messages to the corporate office have not been returned. In Kirkland, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.